This is me taking all of my belongings from multiple bags and unpacking them. I'm moving from my apartment into my cubicle at work. They do not pay me enough to do both. So as a matter of protest, I am just going to live at my job. And we'll see how long I can get away with this. That's right, he moved into his job. What you just saw was funny but odd, yet sobering. A look at what many in this country are dealing with. A Seattle man is gaining lots of attention after moving into his cubicle at work to live there. He tells me he could no longer afford rent, and this seemed like a no-brainer. There was a couple factors that came in, like at the same time, my lease was ending, and my rate, uh, the lease was ending, my rent was going up, and I hadn't, none of the places that I applied to had approved me, and they were too expensive in the first place. Um, I also recently discovered that my office had uh, my company had an office in downtown Seattle, which to me was it was a perfect location. Uh, theoretically, if I lived there, I could you know just go right to the bars, and I don't have to do that fifty dollar Uber at the end of the night. Um, <laughs> and then when I talked to my, I did have a conversation with my management about doing a performance review, doing a raise at the beginning of the of that of last week when all this stuff happened, um, and they weren't you know they kind of brushed it off and. At that point, I was like, well, I don't have any other options because it was like Monday, you know, that was I had to something had to happen and Tuesday, my lease was ending. So uh, so when when I had that conversation right after that, I was like, well, we're grabbing the suitcases. And you moved into your cubicle. We moved in. What did people say when they saw you moving in or did you do it after hours? It was after hours, but the other part about it is that that office is basically empty because of COVID. So the most amount of people that I ever saw in that office was three. And the normal amount was, there was one lady that came in four days a week. So it was really only me and one lady, and maybe there's a cleaning lady there uh, one night. I saw. And did the, any of them do a double take? Like, what the hell is going on here? No, because the one lady that came in every day, she stayed, the, the office isn't, isn't in this like U shape. So she never came to the other side of the office. She stayed in her little area. And whenever I passed by, we had a quick conversation. We talked in the lunchroom. She never actually came to see my workspace. And so how long were you able to stay there before the company evicted you? <laughs> evicted is fine. Uh, four days. Is that a strong had, word? It is. is it is, but that's what I mean. That's what happened for all intents okay. and purposes. That's for that's what happened. Um, it was four days and three nights. Ah, well, that that's some time there. Were you able, or are you able to find a new place as of yet, or are you still looking? What? Yeah, actually, ironically, the ironic part was like the day that they sent like that that final letter. Uh, one of those apartment places had called, but yeah, right now I'm just in an air in a Airbnb in close to where my original apartment was. You know, but while it's all funny on TikTok, it is a serious issue when people are not being paid a livable wage. And you're in Seattle, Washington, right? Yes. Pretty expensive there. Ever thought about leaving, moving somewhere else? Yeah, that was the biggest thing for me. I, when I was having those conversations with, uh, with the management, I was telling them, I mean, I either, either we can, we can work out something wage wise here, or I mean, the company that I was working for, it's a multinational corporation all over the country. I'm like, you can move me with my same salary. When I started this whole thing, I was I was living in West Virginia, uh, just working remotely. You can, I can live with my salary in West Virginia just fine. I can't live in New York, LA, you know, Sacramento or Seattle with that same salary. So it's, it's um, to me, I think companies really have to pay attention to the cost of living, especially now with, you know, we see gas prices, rents are going up across the board. Basically, everything is more expensive. And while everything is more expensive, salaries haven't risen. This story could be, you know, an eye opening thing to a lot of companies like start having conversations with those workers, because I think in the end, this could have ended uh, a completely different way. Like if HR had just sent somebody down to the cubicle and said, hey, you know, we saw these videos. Um, some of them were kind of funny, but 
you know, what's, you know, what's actually going on here and kind of, and is that the way they found out from your TikTok account? Oh, 100%. They were Mm -hmm. on, I posted the videos on Tuesday. They found out on, they, from, from talking with people, they had known about it on Wednesday and they had been decided to deciding what, how to address it. And, uh, and then Thursday was when they contacted me. Now, do you think your job will be in jeopardy because of this? Oh, I do not work there anymore. Oh, you, you, you as as left. As so as uh, did Monday, you quit no, was, or did they terminate you? What happened? I was official. I decided to not quit. I decided to just let them terminate me. Well, Simon, we wish Fire. you the best. Hopefully you find another gig. Have you found one yet? Yeah, I've been doing some interviews and I have my own little stuff going. I have uh, lots of people on the TikTok were interested in the clothes that I was making, all the, the wild rompers. So I'm moving forward with that. And I've already interviewed with a couple companies. So I'm not starving. Uh, I have at least three months of between the, the la- that last paycheck and some of the donations from the generous people on the Internet. Uh, I should be fine for the next three months and, and we'll see what happens. All right, sir. Well, we appreciate your time and we wish you the best. And thank you for dropping by on the Factor Uncensored. Thank you for inviting me on.